point in the video, you know what we're doing here. Uh, I'm about to sample one of my masks. Well, no. I'm going to do this t-shirt. Um, it's, it's a t-shirt. Let me see. It's a Walmart brand. Let's see. Not Walmart brand. Um, it's a 89% polyester tank. So, I'm like, okay. The look that I'm going for is kind of vintage. So, um, it will work perfectly. So, since the last time when I called myself doing a plain shirt, um, someone couldn't hear me. And I take that very personal. So, for that, that's really the reason why it's taking me so long to come back and I'm saying so long but I probably haven't posted in about a week um, and I have things ready to post but I was just concerned about the sound um, so I'm gonna try to work on being louder this is like I said a little tank from Walmart that I picked up I'm going to slide this little um, I guess like my little blowout paper if you saw my videos with the blankets, you know that it is pretty necessary. Um, and this little silky little shirt, I'm just going to try to slide it through. I'm actually going to put two sheets in here. And I'm trying my best to avoid being all up in the camera. Because... <clears throat> yeah girl had a full day but I was just like you know what I need to get a video going and a new video uh, and I'm also the type of person to just uh, be like you know what trash it so I got videos waiting but this one was a little bit more important to me okay so for the most part, and this is really why I don't, I'm j I just try to move too fast. So I have everything pretty much flat, ready to go. I'm going to hit the pre-press um, with this on here. Just a couple seconds. Yeah. Oh. Luckily, there's some scissors here. So this was my image, what you saw in the video. So I'm just going to snap, I mean, you know, cut this right on off. Um, and I love an oversized, so I don't know what was happening here. I guess this was the fight between my printer and my image. It should be okay, but I can see it here too. It's like it's scraped. I'm not gonna worry about it, but um, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my little cover sheets on so I can show you guys these masks that I purchased. Um, the ones that I was talking about in hopefully the earlier part of this video if everything goes right so again learn your machine mm -mm. oh i forgot y'all i readjusted it earlier today for something um but learn your machine my machine personally says 4 30 for 100 and i think 50 seconds but i might have changed that too um yeah, so you need to test your paper out. I, I'm um, test your settings out if necessary. I could leave a video to um, to kind of explain that furthermore. But this is a look at the mask that I bought. That I was saying that I don't don't have a template for. Um, if I could, oh, so. Like I said, I measured. Here we go. Okay, so I measured this. Two, two, two. 
And I mean, you know how I got these measurements if you watched my, I guess the beginning part of this video. So I would just center it and press. And this black part won't press, so I don't think I'm going to need heat tape. Um, I'm eager to see how it works. But this was my concern. The fact that it's kind of like a pocket in pouches instead of like just laying flat. Mind you, I'm not this uh, their first customer. They have returned customers, so it works for somebody. So hopefully it works for me and it's something that I like. I plan on... Let's see. If I can locate my heat tape, I'll do it this way. Um, yeah. So I'm going to tape that up and have that ready to go. Um, this sneaker, I don't know if you can see it. This in view is... My phone might be in the way. This in view is what I'm trying to match with, I guess. And you're about to see how that worked. Or did I? I forgot. Okay, I clearly have it way too tight. Uh, well, I'm saying more than enough pressure. Ooh, y'all. Dog it. So the paper under is what did it. Um, and clearly, I had something either on my paper. I'll check the paper. Let's see if there was something green. Put it been over here. I don't know. It's showing something. Obviously, it was something here. Luckily, this is just for me. Um, but I do not like that. I don't know if you can see it. And here is my t-shirt. This little line is from that paper on the inside. Also, another reason why I try not to do paper because, I mean, interior blowout paper because you run the risk of that happening. Um, so, I'm going to use a fresh blowout paper. I'm going to try to find a way to clean my uh, to clean my let's see this looks decent I'd say and I'm gonna take I'm gonna try to take the pressure off some I don't know if that's it let me check let's see cause I don't know if that's It's a little easier, but you see how that thing still bounces? Mm. And I didn't really have direction for what's the front or the back. So I'm going to say this is the front. And yeah, we're just going to go for it. We're just going to go for it. Let's try to hit a pre-press. Flatten it out a little. You see, it really didn't do much. I'm going to do both of them just because I have no, I'm say no real patience. No, I'm going to do one at a time just in case I don't do it right. I'm just going to fold this over sandwich in hopes that it doesn't wiggle too much. And we'll see. Maybe I need to adjust my time and pressure on this. Hoping you can see this. But this is what this was supposed to pretty much match up with. Um, I guess decently. It does decently. Let's see if you can see that from, from where I am. Oh. I see, I see. 
this is the pocket. So yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Um, yeah, that's just on me. Now check in the camera. Oh, I think it matches very well, honestly. Honestly. So, at this point, this is us testing out my template to see if all things came through. Really, I'm going to grab a few extra, but it, it's not like you need a template for this. If I could find the rest of them. So, anyways, this is a whole different, another company versus these, if you remember, uh -oh. from Silky, Silky Socks. I'll be doing another one to show you guys how to do the word art. A lot of people are getting into the Black Lives Matter and having all the victims' names on it. I'm going to bring a video showing you how I, and how you can create word art online um, for free. And you can pretty much warp it into any shape that you want. I highly doubt that this needs this much time. But hopefully, um, it does something for the parts of it that I am worried about. Which would be, um, mm -mm. hold on. Let's see if I can take you down the level. to say where did it go <gasps> Ooh. it looks it looks all right it looks a lot more vibrant and this is what i mean stuff like this it looks a lot more vibrant in the camera versus how i feel holding it and this is like what I mean right here. And I don't think me taping that down would have done anything because if you see here, the triangle will still be overlapping. So that's it, guys. You got two for one out of me today. Um, Y'all stay safe. Be blessed. Spread love. Bye.